Let's say that you are researching a potential foreign market for a nutrient supplement company. First, you would set a goal, in this case, a thorough research of a potential foreign market. Then your next step would be to come up with major categories or steps in achieving that goal. Perhaps you come up with six major categories that come to mind. Governing laws, risk, market distribution, physical survey and focus group. Now that you have major categories, it's time to add more detail to those categories. Perhaps under the category of laws, you have to think about business, import, labour, tax and accounting laws, and so on for the rest of the categories. There are many editing options to make your map more dynamic, which we will cover in the Editing Mind Mapper video. For now, the map has been edited already. Since you have a general plan of action, you can now use the Gantt Chart and Planner to view and execute your plan. Click Open Window to view Gantt Chart and see the project flow. Display map schedules to a planner by adding the map as a project map and give it a colour so that you can tell that schedule item associated the colour project map. Tasks with a time display on the top block. In the middle block are the appointments and memos or tasks are on the bottom. Say you have just confirmed three appointments for an international law firm meeting. You can link those three appointments to foreign project map. And from the map, place the three appointments under the right topic for quick organisation. Create and manage information with a map. View overall project flow in Gantt Chart. Execute your plans with the planner. This is the new Mind Mapper.